Gift cards are a popular gift this time of year, of course, but they're also popular with scammers. Matt Daughtry from our Houston affiliate tells us how to keep your money safe. The grandmother came to KHOU 11 telling us that she was a victim of this scam. Now she wants to help keep this from happening to you. I have bought thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of cards. This is the first problem I've had. I've been lucky. This Houston grandmother says it was on a regular trip to her local grocery store last October when she bought these Amazon gift cards totaling $150. The cards were gifts for her grandkids this Thanksgiving, but not long after she got back home from the holiday. The phone started ringing. Grandma, the gift cards don't work. Determined to right the wrong, she started by calling Amazon. They told her, we can't help you go back to where you purchased them. So she returned to the Kroger, Kirby and Maine, where she'd bought the cards and said, the gift cards that I purchased here are not working and was told by the store, yeah, that happens. She says she was told it was part of a scam popping up across the country. Thieves write down the claim codes on the cards, then they wait. And when someone buys the card at the store, that activated the card and they spent the money. Frustrated with the experience, not so much the loss of the money, this grandmother went online, sharing her experience on Nextdoor. I thought it would be nice to notify other grandmas that are out shopping for their grandkids what can happen. And I got 150, 160 responses from numerous people all over the city that said how much they had lost buying gift cards. I'm not the only person. The Better Business Bureau confirms it. We are hearing a lot about this issue. People going to stores and buying cars and then they find out later that they've already been used. Leah Napoliello is the BBB's vice president of investigations. It is important for the stores to check, also for consumers to check as well. Her advice to you, inspect the cards before you buy them. And if the barcode has been moved or removed and a sticker has been placed on top of the barcode, then that's a sign that someone has tampered with it. She says consumers should try to get their money back, starting with the store. If that doesn't work, they can contact the BBB. And that Houston grandmother has some advice for us. Well, my advice to consumers is not to buy cards. <laughs> And if something like this happens to you in our area, you're urged to call the store where you bought it from or the Better Business Bureau.